smart contract platform Expanse. Want to start mining it? Want to know how profitable it is to mine? Let's do it. Hey guys, uh, we are back with the new series and uh, we will be mining Expanse today with uh, Claymore Miner. Expanse is a hard fork from Ethereum, so it is possible to use the same uh, miners for Expanse as you use for Ethereum. Um, it's this ex exactly the same blockchain, you know, just they uh, some some so they uh, have uh, made some uh, differences. You know, the the block reward is slightly bigger. It's uh, eight expansive coins, where in Ethereum is five. And uh, yeah, and today it's uh, expansive is worth about twenty cents for one coin and. Uh, we will be mining on Windows machine with 6 XFXRX 474 GB cards. And these cards on Ethereum does 165 mega hashes. So because it's the same algo on the uh, Expanse, it should be doing the same uh, speed as well as it's doing on Ethereum. So yeah, uh, let's, I will take you into the, uh, uh, the miner and uh, show you everything what I do to start mining and we will check how profitable it is to mine expansion. And I hope that will uh, help you if ever you decide to mine it. It's totally up to you if you want to mine it, if you believe in it. Right, let's get into it. Okay, we are now inside the uh, Windows 10 machine and uh, as I said before, it is 6XFX 4GB RX470 graphics cards. And uh, yeah, we will get, get straight into it, you know. First you need to create a, a wallet or you just... Uh, take a wallet from your exchange like I'll be doing it I will take my wallet from Polonix then uh, then you need to download the uh, Claymore miner you know it's the last version here on Claymore 7.4 you can download it use the mega link I have already downloaded the uh, the uh, uh, miner so uh, next thing you will need to do is uh, create a batch file inside that miner. You know, for starting a, a, a Claymore, the expansive miner. Alright, so just new text. Start expansive. All right, and what you will need to do there is a, a command line already inside the uh, Bitcoin Talk, where you download the uh, Claymore Miner. Command line to command line uh, to mine Ethereum forks. So expansive is e Ethereum uh, hard fork. So you just copy the down this line. We will be mining on dwarf dwarf pool. So it's already the for the command line for the dwarf pool. Hope it say it right. <laughs> so you can see it here. Yes, yeah, Stratum port eight one zero one eight. So it's the same as uh, as in there. So you just copy that inside your text file, that line, and then you just need to replace 
uh, your wallet address with the default wallet address. So you just go to the Poloniex, click on expense and click deposit and just copy this, uh, your wallet address where to copy the, uh, where to transfer the money into your Poloniex account. So you just paste that address in your text command file in your batch file so paste and you will need to save this into the uh, uh, claymore miner folder so uh, let's save that as all files and you need to add in the end dot bat and save it's a bit slow so yeah we have here a minor minor uh, start batch file and we are ready to uh, mine expands so I will just just click on a bit loggy Okay, and you can see it's connecting to the dwarf pool. Dwarf, dwarf, I hope you're saying it like that. <laughs> Sorry about my English, you know, if you don't understand. And uh, you can see it's connecting to the pool. So I was mining there a while ago on the dwarf pool uh, expanse. So I should probably be able to see my worker that's you know you just type in your wallet address and then uh, show hmm maybe it doesn't show yeah it probably is haven't connected you know yet and it doesn't find my worker I want to see uh, how uh, fast, you know, till it's co connecting, maybe we can check, we can check how profitable it is to mine uh, Expanse. Uh, you can see it's connected to the stratum pool. It's showing that I have low on the memory that I should close some windows but of course we won't do that we want to see how fast is going this miner this might be uh, going a bit slower at the moment cuz it is um, um, uh, the screen recorder is uh, running on this machine so you can see it's running 163.8 mega hashes. I know for sure that it is running 166. It was running there for 150 hours before I turn it off and switch to the uh, uh, now to Expanse. So we can check how profitable it is to mine Expanse. So we will get from this machine 166 mega hash. Power use is the same as on Ethereum, 900 watts. Power costs, let's say zero, or like 10 cents for kilowatt. Block reward, eight expense. Pool fee, fee 1%, because a dwarf pool charges 1%. And yeah, let's calculate and see what we will get so um mining a day expanser you would get 
with this machine you will get 30 expense, coin, expense coins and uh, revenue will be six dollars so power costs two dollars and the profit will be four dollars a day so yeah it's not one of the most profitable currencies to mine but it is still an option if you want to mine something else like uh, not only Ethereum or Monero or Zcash, there's some other coins to uh, mine with uh, GPUs, which is also profitable. You never know uh, what could happen in a time, you know, if you looking to invest for a long term in expense. You know the price might go up in the future because you never know in the cryptocurrency what's gonna happen next as you see you know the ethereum has dropped down a lot on the price and also the difficulty has dropped a lot what i think what's the best you know uh, for mining how to mine uh, it's best to mine when the coin has a, a very low difficulty you know even if the if it's not as profitable as to mine on that day you know as the other coins but if you really believe into that coin you know and you think it's gonna do good in future so if you are thinking to invest in that coin so I think the best is just keep mining it even if the price dro drops uh, very low because if the price drops very low uh, most of the miners will switch to some other coin and the difficulty will drop and that will mean you will mine a lot more coins every day so yeah that's that's it for for this video I'll still see how it's mining it's mining yeah 165 and uh, I don't think I don't think I can check it yet uh, on the dwarf pool worker name Uh, still doesn't show it probably will start uh, showing in a while you know it will track your worker and you will see the results and how many coins you have mined and all the transactions to your wallet address So yeah, okay. So if you want to get in the expense mining, uh, I hope this video will help to you. And uh, it's totally up to yourself what you want to mine. I'm not a uh, financial advisor, you know. I just uh, give you uh, information uh, what I know. I uh, share that with you and. Thank you for watching my videos and uh, if you can't start the miner or you have some problems you just drop me the comment in the description or in the comment section and uh, like the video if you liked it. If you haven't subscribed the channel uh, yet uh, you can subscribe it to get more new uh, interesting videos and uh, let's see you on the next video i have a small idea what i will uh, do with it i will show and extra uh income what you uh, can make with, with your uh, mind coins okay i see you next video take care bye